Uh, so a beautiful Smurf Marine. Uh, Denise Ten Bucks, a beautiful Smurf Marine. I say, Mr. Tar, Mr. Ben, I miss you, my sweet boys. Uh, now we're getting into shit talking streams. Well, top watch DS9 for three hour Star Trek talks. Uh, Kremlo came in the sky with diamonds. No, I'm not going to watch DS9. Not for a long time. Never ever? I'm not going to say never ever. Hmm. But I don't have any plans to start it. It's a fucking billion fucking years. I think it's less than um, Next Gen. I think Next Gen had the most episodes of any Star Treks. It's still probably going to be like five seasons of 25 episodes. Yeah, that sounds about 125 right. hours. I can tell you now, the first season, not good. Ooh. So DS9 is seven seasons. Ooh. So 175 episodes. Uh Ooh. But it's better than TNG. You could be like, look, I've got the best TV show in the world, but it's 175 hours of your life that you've got to watch. Mm. I'd be like, Ugh. that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Probably not going to. Um, it does have the Ferengi, and I think you'll enjoy the Ferengi a lot. I like the Ferengi, but they are in other style. style yeah, drugs. but they're in it a lot. They're like constantly around. How many? Packlets, no packlets, no Gowron either. Who's a different Klingon general? Oh, does he have those good Gowron eyes? No, pierce your soul. One of them's got an eye patch on. That's not as good. Not as good at all. Um, but yeah, uh, like look, one day, one day I might. But yeah, I have. Oh, no, he is in it. I have no plans. I'd forgotten he was in it. I was thinking of um, what's his name, Mur Murdoch, Murtok. This is the main Klingon guy? Martok. It's been a long time since I've watched it. Why don't you rewatch it, Ben? Why don't you rewatch the whole of it? Because it's way too much. I'm st I don't think I'm going to finish the 12 hours of The Traitors at this rate. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's way too long. Yeah. It should have been three hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's just my personal bugbear of the endless recapping. Oh, endless recapping. Those The challenges that kind of mean nothing. Think, yeah. Like, the round table's really the, the point of the show. Yeah, that's the best part. And everything else can get cut, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you can trim a lot of it down. It's, uh, but that, I have that problem with almost all reality TV. The way they go, like, okay, so today, contestants, we're going to have you uh, race up this hill to try and win money for the prize pool. Mm. Cut to talking head. Stacy. So, um, we had to run up this hill. <laughs> yeah. Cut to talking head. Mike. Ah. <laughs> oh, I was really excited for the task today until they told me I had to run up this hill. <laughs> the thing was, we had to run up the hill to get the money. Yeah. Cut to the presenter. Right, we've got to run up this hill and we're going to make some money, so get ready to go. Three, two, one, boop. Cut to Stacy. So they blew the whistle <laughs> and then we started running up the hill. It's like, oh my God. Yeah. Fucking get on with it. I, uh... it oh, it blows my mind. Oh, I do. Yeah, I, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found it. I found it very captivating, though. The I was still able to just absolutely fucking binge watch it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, we've we've been binge watching it in the way that like parents with full time jobs binge watch things, which is two episodes a night for five nights in a row. <laughs> okay. How much? How um, much do you have left? I think we've done eight. So I think we've got like four episodes left. Um, but I'm this close to fast forwarding through anything that isn't at the round table. I'd say like the last, it like it, it kind of heats up in the last four. Okay. I think it's probably at its best. Uh, the first half is definitely the slowest. Yeah. Second half gets better. And yeah, the last couple of episodes are, I'd say pretty good TV. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me feel better because I'm running out of steam. Um, the challenges are still a waste of time. Yeah, they had one interesting challenge where um, they had to ask people questions when they were on the wheel. Oh, and had yeah. To, uh, uh, that, was, the same answer. that was interesting, but also felt very mean. It did feel mean, but that sort of, you know, stirred up the drama. Yeah, yeah. So it was the only challenge that gave them anything to go on. Yeah. As for terms of, like, who might be evil or why would you answer a question that way? And people were genuinely answering truthfully to get more money. But... Then it gave the traitors more information about like, well, this person everyone trusts, them, yeah, that, which they might not have figured out. Any yeah, other way. it definitely made was the most in-game game that they played. 
Um, um, all the other games of just like fucking pushing barrels uphill. Who gives yeah. a shit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that literally was one of the challenges. It was just <laughs> fucking boring as. Rounding up sheep. Yeah. <laughs> like that wasn't good to watch. No. Or be in, I no, imagine. that was terrible to watch. <laughs> yeah. Because a lot of those sheep just did look the same. <laughs> yeah, it's really the thing about sheep. Mm, um, In fact, counting sheep is... is something that pe famously pe people do to go to sleep. it's so, so boring uh, go to sleep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh. Oof. Yeah. Jeremy is looking for a gift for his aunt. Oh, fuck. Do you remember that Mitchell and Webb sketch? Where they take the piss out of reality TV shows. And it's just this endless loop. Of like, Jeremy's in the shop looking for a gift for his aunt. And he walks in and talks to David Mitchell. And he's like, hi, I'm looking for a gift for my aunt. Cut to talking head of David Mitchell. This man came in and asked for a gift <laughs> for his aunt. <laughs> and it's just like a, like a two-minute sketch oh, of like, yeah, just that... like nothing. Oh. You know, you might forget. You might forget what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Or be surprised and then be angry. <laughs> uh, and all of the, like, I, I genuinely can't tell if they've just found like the most emotionally unstable people on the planet or if everyone is just massively overreacting on purpose to everything i think there's a bit of a bit of column a bit of column b you know you've got producers who are pretty good at like riling people up right we don't want a bunch of just you know level-headed people who are just gonna you know maths this out and make it boring yeah but in turn i feel like especially early on mm. when people were like you didn't look sad when that person get got kicked out. You're a fucking traitor. Mm. And so then people are like, if I don't, if uh, I'm the yeah. first person to stop crying, that <laughs> yeah. means I'm the traitor. They are so playing crying chicken, aren't they? Is just having to, like, I think within their just like social group, it's mm. been really like bred, and they're half expecting each other to react more. And I think mm. because of that, even the people that probably wouldn't react that much kind of end up emoting more to try and Jump. not be as suspicious yeah, overcompensate or if it's just way more normalized that mm. if everyone's breaking down and it's kind of stressful then you're like oh fuck it i'm just gonna but they're all like they've, they've known each other for like a day and they're like <laughs> but i love you so much <laughs> yeah it's absolutely wild uh i don't know it's just so it's so bizarrely emotionally intense also it's just like maybe when they were like two or three days in mm. it's like oh it's this person because they are acting differently now yeah. to they were on the very first day it's like well maybe they're just feeling a bit more comfortable around yeah maybe people. they've relaxed a bit more maybe or maybe they realize that well. you're a fucking asshole oh. now and now they're <laughs> yeah. acting a bit differently towards you because they've worked out that they don't like some people or they now do like people yeah. just any number of reasons yeah the bonkers logic that they make is uh Really good. Um, oh, yeah. Well, because they have literally nothing to go on. Yeah. So they just start making shit up. Uh, it, which is pretty pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. I like it and I hate it. Oh, yeah. It's awful. But there's something captivating about yeah. it that I do actually really enjoy. Uh, even though it's kind of hot garbage. <laughs> it sounds like a CC recording. It really does. <laughs> Yeah, this show, it basically is Among Us. It's, um, it's basically, like, to sum it up in its truest form, it's what if we made the Big Brother house play a game of Werewolf that lasted two weeks. Yeah, that's basically it. Just a long game of Werewolf. Mm. With no, no roles, just traitors. <laughs> <laughs>